Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are doing some nails. Um, okay, so colors we are going to use. These are from Nail Reserve. And this one is Thursday Drive. This is Welcome Home. Mythical. And I, whoops. <laughs> I am going to use opening credits, opening credits. Um, so doo -doo -doo, hang on. I've actually painted them already. I forgot and got carried away. Um, I am going to matte top coat these guys because I want to do some watercoloring on those. So I'm going to do that right now. And then um, we'll get to stamping. Hang on one sec. Oh, and I'm going to use uh, Nail Reserves, the matte top coat. Okay. One sec. Okay. Look at the matte, the matte on the yellow and the white. It looks so cool. <laughs> um, I might do the purples. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, but I do want to use opening credits on a few of these nails. Um, and then we're going to do some stamping. Um, I'm going to use some Maniology. Um, these are, um, from the Manny by Me boxes. Um, so these are not available unless you're a Manny by Me subscriber. So, um, first one is Maniology MXM089. So this is that plate. And then uh, MXM090, sorry, you're getting glare from everything. So I don't know, um, I saw a design done by Astrid. She is Moet and Nails. She's on Instagram. I saw that she did a design. So I've kind of, I've taken inspiration from, I'm, she used yellow and white and beige, I think. But I really wanted to use uh, the new colors I got from Nail Reserve. And I really always think that yellow and purple go to well together. <laughs> so, and then of course I wanted to use my opening credits. So it was perfect. Okay, so. Um, I had a viewer ask me to try and sponge on opening credits because it's quite, it's in a clear base. So she suggested sponging it on. So that's what we're going to do. So... I don't know if I want to do all of it, but so it kind of gets it where you want it more, so which is kind of a nice thing. So I will do this with regular polish as well. Like if you have a glitter, you can sponge it on as well, and the sponge actually absorbs the um the clear polish and it leaves you with the glitter so so like if you want to do like a little gradient you can you can just do that and sponge it on so I'm just going to kind of do it on All the nails here, all the purple. And you can kind of see where the glitter is, so um, you can um, put down where you want it to. So 
It's like, okay, I've got some here, so. So and if you got too much, you can kind of wipe it off. Kind of idea. So I don't know if I want to do this other purple. So I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, one sec. Okay, so I'm going to get to some stamping. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to stamp where. So I want to use this image on one of the nails and then on the bigger one on the other set. I'm going to do that. So we are going to use my She Modern Sticky Black White or She Modern Sticky Black stamping polish. So kind of want to do this hard. I thought that was kind of cute. And oh forgot my lint roller. So I'm gonna take that and that. And we're gonna do it. Right there. So that looks really cute. I like that. And then this one. Pull the plate down. Scrape. So there's some smudgies at the bottom in there. It's too close to get my lint roller in. So I'm just using one of my scraper cards. So now So I didn't quite get this edge, so I'm going to go in and do that. And then scraper card. I'm going to do that. So there. So that's another image. And So this big yellow one, I think I'm going to do this image. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll get like an idea and then I don't know exactly where I'm going to put everything. So I just kind of go with a plan after <laughs> I get like the basics. So, and then... So, I'm going to do okay, there's a little dot there. Oh, there he is. And then let's see what's on this plate. If there's anything I want to use. I know I want to use this on 
the yellow plant or the others. Yeah, she did Winnie the Pooh, but she has she had totally different images and stuff. So, um, but I thought it was super cute, and I've been wanting to do a Winnie the Pooh design for a while. After I got the plates, I used it once, and then I'm like, hmm, I need to use this again because they're cute. Okay, so we're gonna do this one on this yellow. and um i don't know if i told you guys but i'm gonna do be doing another market at uh, the end of april so i'll be doing a bunch of press on nails again and I'm missing part of his head there, as you can see. So what I can do is I'm taking some of the, the polish. The only problem is my brush is split. Okay. So I made it into a point. I'm going in and I'm just kind of tapping it in there. So now it's it's not missing it. I'll have to clean that out after. So put that there. So let's put. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to do them here. So I need two more for my yellow. Okay, so I've got some yellows here. What I might do is I'm going to put um, Tigger and Piglet. It's funny, my husband calls Daisy Piglet. That's her, her nickname. She's been Piglet since she was a baby because she kind of snorts. there and then I'm going to put Christopher Robin on this other nail oh and look see what I did I did a void so um, when you get a big void like that you need to scrape into it so actually i'm going to get rid of that one because i'm missing part of his head so i'll try that again but see how huge of a void i don't know if i was in frame a void that is so in order to get all that and you don't want to scrape old polish out when i do this way it i scrape it out because i'm kind of going whoop into it so this way I'm just going to go this way and then I only lost a little bit of it but I can fix that
So I have some left over so I can fill the void in. And then if I want, I can also kind of apparently have a problem with his head. And just paint it in a little bit. So there, I have those. I'm still deciding on the two purples, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, one sec. Okay, so now I'm going to... Do, do, do. We're going to do this... So I want to see. Okay, there is like little lines in his belly. So I'm like, what's, what is that? But it's part of the design there. And then. I'm going to do this one. For the yellow. Okay. People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. It's kind of cute. Da, 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 da. And then purple. This little one, I'm going to do a little little bees on the purple and then on the other purple we're going to do some pots Okay, and we have one purple nail, nail left. I wish there was some more things. I've already got that one on there. So maybe I'll do this again. Yeah, I'm going to do this thing on this one. There. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use some of my uh, Artistra watercolor paint sets. Um, it's got all these fabulous colors. So I want to use some of them on some of the images. Like this guy. We're going to use... This gold, I think that'll look, oop, oh, maybe my light. There. 
Um, so, oh, I was going to show you the difference. This is the watercolor pen that came with the Artistro, and it's got this little push button here, so it'll release the water. Um, it's got a big brush on it. And then these are the ones I got from AliExpress. Works great. So, um, I didn't know these things existed until, oh, get my light again. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know. Um, yeah, I didn't know that these things existed, so otherwise I would have. Uh, it was kind of cool getting this Artistro. So I'm just going to go and just need to kind of get it a little wet I want to color in some of I'm kind of dipping my brush into water just to get it going a little bit so I'm just going to paint it in so using the watercolors is kind of um, a little easier than doing reverse stamping. So it's up to you. So I'm not going to kind of bore you and show you all because otherwise this video is going to be humongous, super long. I don't want to paint everything. I just kind of want to give it a little bit of color. If you wait till it dries and then go over it again, it'll it'll darken it up. So there's that. I'm going to put that one there. Okay, and then this one. I'm going to do a bunch of them. This one's a nice kind of gold, too. So I'm just go. And if you don't like something, you can just go in with water and wipe it off. So that's the wonderful thing about it. And yeah, let's do that one. See? And then like if I want to do these again. I'll make it darker. So. so there's that. Okay, and then if I want to wash it off, I dip it. I have a little dampen dish with water I dip my brush in and then I wipe it on a paper towel and then it um, gets rid of um, 
the color that I had on there. So now I'm going to give him a little red balloon. And twirl it around. So then I dip it in water. And then I want to do him. So I think I might use this brown. And then we will let that dry. Okay, and I have brown on my brush. Still. Ooh, I just pushed. <laughs> I had a lot of water come out. <laughs> so I'm just going to wipe it off on the brush a little bit because I want to. I got a lot of water in my brush right now. So that's fine. I'll let it dry and then I can I can make him darker. So put him there. And then I have him here. And then you can go in while it's still wet and then take some of it off and then um because i got a little bit too much on here or oops i just touched i want to go in so i covered up the lines a little bit bit too much and i touched that so i wanted to fix that okay move those over the side so i don't know how it'll look if i go over him with the brown on the yellow So I can wipe my brush off and then I can go around the lines a little bit and wipe so you can see them a little more. So what do you think? So do I have any more? Uh, beehives. I can probably make it this brown color this one I'm not gonna bother I was thinking I was gonna but I'm just gonna leave out and just trying to think of what other colors so I'm going to dry my brush or rinse my brush off. So then I want to do Christopher Robin. So I think he has yellow hair. I can't remember. It's been a really long time since I've read Winnie the Pooh. It was one of my, my son's favorite. Do -do -do. I'm going to give him some blue pants. Oh, 
I'm gonna go give him a red shirt. The red will look nice on there. And I do his arms. So I'm just going to do in some grass, but I think I got too much water in there. So let that dry a little bit. I'm going to add some blue for the sky. And I'm just going to, I don't know if you can tell, is this darker colors or darker blue and then lighter? So it kind of gives it a little texture. You can kind of do like little wiggles. So. like clouds I'm thinking I might leave that one I kind of like it like that but I'm going to add blue here Okay. And then I can go in again and add more. So I'm pretty much done all that I'm going to do right now. I need to make sure that these are all dry. So I'm going to probably let these sit overnight just because it's late now and I'm going to go to bed soon. <laughs> so I'm going to come back tomorrow and then we'll base coat these and then we'll top coat them. And then we'll get a final look. But... I think these look pretty fabulous so far. I'm just trying to remember where everything goes. And here I'll give you a I'll give you a peek in a sec. I don't know what color to make the bucket. Um Cover buckets. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's do. Let's do a weird red. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um, these two go together. So there's that so far. I like them. 
and then these are the other ones i think they're cute i really like them okay so we'll be back shortly with a final look okay bye for now stay tuned Okay, so I base coated and then I top coated. Um, and I think they turned out super cute. I really like how they turned out. Um, so I always base coat one to encapsulate like the glitter. Um, and also um, it um, has, um, if I don't base coat and then top coat the gel, top coat has nothing to adhere to so that's why i um i do a base coat first and then also it um lessens the chance of smudging because if you just go in with a straight top coat it smudges for some reason but the base coat doesn't so there they are i think they're adorable and uh, oh excuse me sorry um so stay tuned. I'm going to have some swatch photos for you. And then, of course, I'll have Daisy and Pippa. Okay, so um, love you guys. And uh, remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. <laughs>